In Eye of the Temple, you move through a vast environment, not by teleportation or artificial locomotion, but by using your own feet. But how does it work behind the scenes? Let's start with the basics of keeping the player in the play area. Say you need to go from one tall pillar in the game to another via a moving platform. You step forward onto the platform, the platform moves, and then you step forward onto the next pillar. But now you're outside your physical play area. If we instead position the moving platform to the side, it goes like this. You sidestep onto the platform, it moves, and you sidestep onto the next pillar. Since you took a step right and then left, you're back where you started in the center of your play area. So the game's tricks are all about how the platforms are positioned relative to each other. Now, to get a better sense for it, let's look at some mixed reality footage where a grid representing the play area is overlaid on top. This footage is by Nacy. You can check out more of her work on her YouTube channel. Okay, you've seen how the trick works, but how do I keep track of it all when doing the level design for the game? Well, I have a visualization that makes it easy to see at a glance if the platforms are lined up correctly. With this overlay, I can easily see if a given platform is positioned in the center of the play area or at an edge or corner. Additional overlays show a ghostly version of the pattern at both the start and end positions of a moving platform. It still took a lot of ingenuity to work out the level design for this game, but now you know how I kept the complexity of it manageable. I hope you enjoyed this peek behind the scenes and that you'll have a great time playing Eye of the Temple on Quest 2.